Hello and welcome to Business Law 2 BA 208. This is the online version of the course and I'm going to walk you through uh, Blackboard here. Uh, in the announcements area here in the middle you're going to find important information each week. Uh, for example, here's our welcome announcement and we cover a lot of this in the orientation and there's a video uh, that you're watching now about it. But uh, just to highlight a few things about the course each week runs from Friday to Thursday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There are no late makeup or extra credit assignments. Instead, I drop your lowest 25 points. So if you have uh, an internet outage or an issue getting to a computer or something uh, technically goes wrong when you submit a quiz, not a problem. Um, you can email me if you uh, complete the assignment or try to complete it well before the deadline. Otherwise, I drop that grade um, and get one of those. You're required to participate in the weekly discussion forums by making quality posts at least three out of seven days. Uh, and you can see the quality rubric in the syllabus, and we'll go over that. Um, but it's not um, three times a day or a number of posts per day. It's three out of seven days. Um, also, if you uh, are working uh, close to the deadline, make sure you, you uh, submit uh, your quiz or whatever it is at least 24 hours out. That way, if, if you need to email me or contact me through the questions forum, I can get it uh, and, and respond to you. Otherwise, I, I may not get your uh, email until after the deadline passes. So you can go ahead and click on the link that takes you into the assignments for week one which is the orientation and this is pretty much the way the weeks are laid out each week there's an introduction uh, usually some discussion of the topic the assignments that you need to complete the deadline there usually be a video uh, in the case of the orientation there might be something that you need to do and and then mark it as reviewed when you click this mark reviewed button uh, it'll change to say reviewed that way you know you've completed the assignment and, and I know you've completed it. And you'll see that the next time you come back into the course. Uh, this is a link that takes you to the course blog where you'll post your introduction. And then at the end, if you have any questions about the orientation, um, whether it's the video or the syllabus or reviewing the schedule, you can post it in the questions forum. Uh, you can also go directly to the blog over here. Uh, you can go to the assignments directly over here and uh, each week will be released uh, one week at a time and you'll see the dates on it. We were just in this week one folder and in the discussions area you'll have weekly forums. You'll have a questions forum where you can go in and ask uh, questions about the course that aren't answered under course information and I'll just go in and show you how that works. There's a, a uh, thread here up at the top of the forum there's a subscribe button. Mine says unsubscribe because I've already subscribed to it. If you click the subscribe button you'll get an email each time there's a question and answer posted. Uh, that way you don't have to keep checking the forum. Uh, if you want to reply to a thread you go into the thread. In this case it's the orientation thread. You'd read through it. Usually instructions everywhere in the course are in italics. You want to click the quote button and then uh, that way people will see what you're replying to. You type your response there and make sure you hit the submit button, not save draft. And then uh, another little tip about uh, discussion boards is before you go into them, you can actually, from the outside of the forum, click on the number of unread posts you have. And that way you'll only see the posts you haven't read since the last time you were on the discussion board instead of trying to sort through all the unread and read posts. Uh, this is where you check your grades or your resources. Uh, we'll keep adding them through the semester. Right now if you go in there you'll see that there are slides for each chapter that we've covered. Down here under contact information this link will actually take you to a form that you can complete. Put in a subject in your text and when, when it's sent to me, it goes to my GRCC address from your student email. 
and it'll tell me which course you're in. So that's very helpful, helping get back to you faster. This is a link to my uh, bio information. If you click on that link, it'll take you to my web page out on the website. It has my office hours, which is Monday through Thursday, 10.30 to 11.45 a.m. You can uh, drop in then. You can certainly email. Uh, if you call, I probably won't get the message unless I'm in my office. Uh, email is the best way to get a hold of me. You can also email me to arrange to meet some other time. The schedule is under course information and with the schedule and syllabus there's a HTML or browser version of it, a PDF or Word version. You can see each week is laid out so even though the assignment folders roll out one week at a time you can actually get in and see what you need to read, what you need to do, when the assessments are for the entire course. If you go all the way to the end of the schedule, you'll see we have a review. The final exam is submitted online. Everything's done online. And the course ends on Thursday, May 1st, 11.59 p.m. Uh, you can jump to the syllabus or the orientation here. Let's review the syllabus quick. I'm not going to read it all to you. Again, there's a HTML, PDF, and Word version of it. My contact information is at the top. How to email me, the outcomes for the course. You need the 10th edition of the textbook. Put the ISBN number in the syllabus for you. It can be new or used, but it's got to be the correct edition of the textbook. The attendance policy is in the syllabus as well as the, all the graded activities and how much they're worth and how they're set up. For example, the quizzes are multiple choice, true and false. The essays you actually type in. Uh, your answers. The final exam is comprehensive over all the chapter. The format is multiple choice, true, false. All of this is open book, open notes. I drop your lowest 25 points if you miss no more than two weeks of class. Uh, we already viewed the late assignment policy. Uh, participation uh, rubric is right here. Maximum points. You want to post at least three out of seven days, but here are some quality criteria in terms of being insightful, clarifying points. One that uh, causes people to miss points is this one right here. Um, I am tracking what you say and I will sometimes post a reply to you asking you for additional information or maybe your peers will prompt you or ask a question and I'm watching to see uh, if you do reply. And the rest of the college policies are in the syllabus. Um, Make sure you use your student email. You check your student email regularly. Uh, if you need accommodations, the Disability Support Office information is in there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, if you have a question, you can email me. Uh, my contact information is right here. Or you can post uh, in the uh, questions forum. I look forward to working with each of you.